This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life. Hello, everybody. It's Paul Neese with the Raw Life Health Show. And uh, I get a question quite often that I wanted to talk about today. A lot of people are just asking me from a, a standpoint of energy is how do I do it? How do I get so much done and, and, and have so much energy without taking any drugs or anything like that? And the answer is the food I'm eating. You understand that uh, it's, it's about energy, okay? And the, the number one thing we need is we have to understand is sleep is going to restore our health. That's where the blood is cleansed and that's important. And so many people are neglecting sleep and they say they can't stay awake during the day. And instead of getting more sleep, they're taking some drug like caffeine or or some energy drink or something else. Uh, you don't need those things. Those things are stimulants and those things aren't true health and, and, or energy and they're just gonna make the problem worse, not better. You're gonna exhaust your adrenal glands or something else. What you do need is sleep and rest. And the diet you're eating, you need a diet that's gonna support that idea of eating uh, food that's, that was designed to be in our body. If you eat dead animals all day, of course you're not gonna have any energy. I mean, we just weren't designed to eat that way. We have hands and fingers and we were designed to pick fruit off a tree, not run down an animal and just grab it open and, and eat it. So when we think about this and, and how much people are on a regular basis just trying to just stay awake all day, they do everything possible against our Creator's plan from the way they think to what they eat to how often and how late they eat uh, to doing things they don't enjoy and everything else that's just going to put them to sleep. But they don't do the things that are going to keep them awake. Uh, unless, you know, that we should be doing according to the way our body was designed instead of following some, some, some drug of man or something else. I mean, and then you look at things like energy drinks. That's not, that's like such a misconceived uh, title. It's not an energy drink. It should be, uh, 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 it's like just false. It's not an energy drink. It's a disillusion drink. It's like a stimulant or they should call it the adrenal burnout drink or something. It's just not healthy to do those things. And people say, well, well, how are we going to do it? What are we going to do? And, you know, get to sleep you need. And people say there's just not enough time to get to sleep we need. There's just not enough time. And then we got to realize that the, the, the true source of all, of all this and where it comes from and so on. And we got to think, uh, you know, our Creator says, I will give my beloved sleep. He gives us sleep and rest. So there is enough time to get it done. And uh, I recently, uh, today I was out. I was out exercising. I get my work done. Take care of my children, eat the right way, eat healthy food. And I had my phone and I made a message and uh, I'll share the message now. It's on the same topic about, about what we should be eating and, and energy and everything else. So uh, I'll show you a clip of this and I'll come back and I'll, I'll finish this message. Good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Paul here and I just wanted to remind everybody. I just got out of gym exercise and here I am eating an orange. I'm not taking protein drinks and all this other stuff that powders and all this other stuff. You just need our creator's fresh fruit. And the best water around, people always ask me, is the water that's found in fresh fruits and vegetables. So I got organic oranges. I got bananas, dates, apples. Nature's best, nature's finest. Mangoes. Hello, Carmen. Good afternoon. Uh, good to see you. So I want to remind everybody about just where you get your energy from. I mean, you got to understand, the, the rock of energy is sleep, or rejuvenating. I mean, when you go to sleep at nighttime, if you, don't forget to if you forget to plug your cell phone in, when you wake up in the morning, it's not fully charged. If you, it, you know, and if you went to sleep not fully charged, and then it does not get in a charge at night, sometimes it's dead in the morning. We're not too different than our cell phones, folks. We could, uh, we got to get the amount of sleep we need to fully charge. we got to plug in at night, get our rest. And the body cleanses. During sleep, that's when the body's cleansing. So, so we, we can't neglect the food we eat, the sleep we eat, and this machine that runs. And, and amen, amen. Somebody here says she gets her uh, energy from Yahweh, and that's it. Because uh, that, that's the source. You see, when you plug your cell phone in the wall, the cell phone's getting energized. But there's an electrical atlas behind the wall that's energizing it. And it's our creator that energizes us. And when we follow his plan, that's what's happening. And sleep is his plan for us. He says in his word, I give my beloved sleep. I give my beloved rest. And he gives us the good food to eat. When we ignore our sleep, we ignore the good food, and we ignore everything he told us to do, 
And then we don't have any energy. And then we got to get addicted to something like caffeine or something else just to stay awake. You know, and people want to call it an energy drink when they take these energy drinks. It's not really an energy drink. It's a, it's a disobedient drink because you're not being obedient to the instructions to keep your body healthy. You got to go and take some drug or something else that's not healthy. Uh, to, to, to feel healthy, but you're making yourself more unhealthy. <laughs> so it's a disobedient drink. It's not an energy drink. And, and coffee is the biggest lie because people need a cup of coffee to stay awake, to get awake and be awake. But then they're doing everything throughout the day and throughout the night, put them to sleep. Uh, they're just not eating right. Not eating. They're eating too much or not enough of what they should be eating and they're not sleeping in. And, and you got it. I mean, yeah, God is the source of all energy. And you know, that's, no matter how many times you plug in your wall, if the circuit breaker is off, you're not going to charge your phone. So we need to connect with our creator as well, and and, and most importantly, and make sure the electricity is on to begin with. And uh, so I want to remind that to everybody, and remind everybody that that we, we, we need to understand the source, we need to understand the responsibility, and we need to do it. Not just know it, but to do it. So, you know, I see people drinking and, and taking all this stuff to try to get energy and everything else. And, you know, I get by on the instructions, uh, the food that we should be eating, the real food and so on. So I want to remind that to everybody. And, and it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be a lot of work and you could do this. And especially if you have the energy, you can do this. So, so, so don't neglect, don't neglect. So that's the message of the, uh, the morning here. Don't neglect. And, and, and go, go and live a life and do things to make you tired. You know, go out there and exercise. Go out there and, 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 and help people. Go out there and, and do stuff. Don't sit home in front of your TV sets. Go out there to do things to make you be tired and then get the sleep that you need that it requires to heal. You know, so, so you can do it. So, uh, yes, exactly. Do us up the word. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage that to you guys. I would love to stay on longer. I got to drive. I don't want to drive and talk on the phone at the same time, uh, but keep that in mind today, okay, everybody, and uh, check out the videos I'm making, I'm doing uh, videos every day on my sites, and just trying to, to help people help themselves, and to help me help you, and you to help me, and so on, so I just bought these uh, fresh oranges at Costco, organic, they have organic oranges at Trader Joe's, but even if it's not organic, you know, it's better, it's better than the, the junk food people are eating out there today, so. Go out there and make it happen. Go be doer of the word. Go out there. Pray, pray, proclaim, read and repent and submit. Hallelujah. All right, you guys. You guys have a great time and go do some good stuff. I'm so busy. I don't even have time to shave. That's how busy I am. You know, I'm doing stuff. Going out there. Making it happen. Hallelujah. All right. You guys have a blessed day. Thanks for joining in today and uh, see you soon. Shalom. All right, everybody. That was a clip I did today on my, my Facebook Live and and I felt it was really important to put it out here and show people that, you know, it, it's, it's truth. It's simple. It does not have to be complicated. So please don't complicate it, folks. Just keep it simple. You keep your diet simple. Uh, get your sleep. And just live healthy. You know, stay away from, you know, you, look, health doesn't cost money. I mean, if you ate nothing and you just fasted, you'd probably be healthier than the food you eat. You know, stop wasting money buying yourself uh, sickness. <laughs> you know, if you just went around and just ate food off trees that you've seen, you'd be much healthier than going to the store and buying the food in the store or in the restaurants and all those other places and overeating everything else. I mean, people think it's a bad thing if they don't have a lot of money. It's probably one of the things that keep them from getting a disease because they'd all be gluttons. We'd all be gluttons if we had all the money we could think of. At least the budget with our food can help us, can, can serve us from being a glutton and not overeating. But some people, it's not helping them because they're seeking food that's low quality and as cheap as food possible. And, and fast food and so on is just getting them sick anyway. So, you know, keep it simple. Keep it simple. You know, you have to work really hard to get sick. Let me put it, explain it this way. You have to work so hard to get a disease. If you just let your body do what it was designed to do, it was not designed to deal with the toxins that it has to deal with on a regular basis. But we got all these subliminal messages from the world today, from the TV today, telling us something's okay or telling us we should eat this or we should do that, we do this. We just don't know anymore. And we do this stuff 
and pretty much we're, we're, it's like we're killing ourselves. I'll go out there to say uh, some of the greatest uh, weapons of mass destruction out there are a north and a, a, a fike, a fike and a north, a north and a fike, a spork, right? Is a, a fork and a knife. You know, and a spoon. I mean, these things are destroying us. Okay, you use chapsticks, destroying us, because what's at the end of that? Is that something that was designed to be in our body? When you go into your, your health food store, or your grocery store, uh, are you going to the produce section, or are you going to the section that has stuff, bag, bottle, canned, and, and all this other stuff that's just doesn't have an expiration date on it? You know, food's supposed to have an expiration date on it. Food's supposed to have a process, a, a ripeness stage, a freshness stage, and a rotting stage. I mean, that's what real food is. If it's in a bag and it doesn't have any, anything and it could stay there for a long time, something should be up with that. You got you to realize this. We got to think, folks. Think. Think about what you're doing. Think about what you're putting in your body when you put something in your body. Because how, how am I so disciplined that I could stop myself from, from eating so much junk food that I love the taste of? Because I think, I think about what I'm putting in my body. I think about where it came from. I research where it came from. I think about what it's going to do to my body. I experience what it's going to do in my body, and I, I remember that. And then I think about, you know, what I can get that's going to do better for me. I think about what I can do that came from a better place than me. And not just myself. I, you can think about the environment. You can think about, you know, so many other aspects. And, 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 and the stress level related to overeating or eating expensive foods is just like, wait, wait a second. You know, I'm getting stressed out about this, this, and this, but it's all related to me being too lazy to get up to do what I really love to do and be happy. And then I'm eating food because I was taught when I was young age that that's comfort food. That's not really comfort food. That's food that's making you worse, not better. You know, the food we need is grown on trees, fruits and vegetables, uh, out of the ground, not out of a machine. We got to get that. We got to realize that. And yes, the soil so depleted and so messed up today. So this... What are we going to do, you know? So we got we to gotta, we gotta be wise about this. We got to monitor what we're doing. And we got to just, just be smart about it, folks. And don't be lazy. Throw your TV set. Stop sitting in front of the TV set saying you're too tired to get up. And then you need uh, to, to take a drug like caffeine or something just to stay awake while you're doing things all day long to put you to sleep. It just makes no sense. It's backwards. So I pray everybody will wake up before it's too late. And the diseases that we're suffering from, we don't have to suffer from these at all. We do not have to suffer from these. These things cannot thrive in a healthy environment. It's been proven over and over again through science that, that the diseases of man today cannot thrive in a healthy environment. And the majority of people's bodies is not a healthy environment. And we are the cause of that most of the time. So, uh, you know, we don't have control over it when we don't have control over it, but we do have control of what goes in our mouth. And we need to control that. All right, uh, so I pray that this message will reach you and you'll get serious about this and, uh, and put your comments and questions below the video. Have a great day and a great real life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life, brighten up your life.